Good morning, race fans. Welcome to Auto Club Speedway for the non-charter qualifying and to find out the six drivers that will lock themselves into the um, into the main event for the PCSRA Foster Series as I'm trying to find my goer homer list. There we go. Of course, we're getting set for the for this race, we're here at Auto Club Speedway of Southern California. We're going to go ahead and get these cars rolling out. You can check down the description for the official starting lineup. Or actually check over here. Carmen Alejandro, Ryan Boyer on the front row. Rick Witt, Jeremy Sloan, row number two. And then the rest of your grid. This is our 15th race of the season, and after this, we only have five more races left to go until we determine the uh, 16 drivers that will duke it out into this season's chase for the championship. Got some different drivers in this ride. Got Jordan Anderson running for his own team in that 13 machine. As far as that is concerned... Uh, we have Des Desiree Voiles in the 62. Lanny Fredrickson in the 44. We have Sean Love trying to make his debut. Not related to Mario, my roommate. That's it. He better not be going to my truck. No, I'm going to get it in the box. Okay. Yeah, if he goes one inch to my truck, you and Andrew have the opportunity to stop him. All right, here we go. No, I'm going to say, Daniel. The Green flag. Don't mess with it. No, he'll mess with my truck. And then I'm going to hit him with a hammer. It's my truck, Amoya. Oh, it's my truck. Oh, that's your truck? No, no, that's my... Yeah, my truck. No, I'll it. Oh, anyway, wow. since somebody decided... Ding! Okay, big dog. Okay, one of them. Oh, be careful. We're four wide there. Uh, Here's the steel chair for Steven. Ding! Prudence Martindale will lead the first lap. Of course, top three from both races will transfer into the main event. Of course, we just went sh we just went straight to the race last week because I just want to save some time. Checking back here. Anthony Ritchie's back here. Savannah Jay's back here. There's Bevo Rogers in the 07. Savannah is helping Michael McInturf in the 54, who's back in that ride this week. And he gets us Toyota. That's demons. Why are you touching other people's stuff, Mario? I don't know. It's like, leave it alone. It's not going to hurt anybody. But you won't leave it alone, and you're being an annoying backmarker. TJ Hanley trying to go for the final transfer spot on the 33. My roommate has not even improved since he returned to the house. Brendan Rogers currently now the leader in the 09. Oh, I'm gonna show myself. Huh? I'm gonna show myself. I got <laughs> Thank God that was closed or Mario would have been laughing and I would have hit him with a frying pan. Ding. For anyone that asked, I knocked over one of my bottles. But I kept it together. William Brock at the 49 machine. Getting hounded by Haley Jarentowski. Ooh, Anthony Ritchie getting a little yeah. 
tight there with B.J. Williams. That was close. That was nearly a wreck. Thankfully, it wasn't. Got to move the ticker back up. There we go. Brendan Rogers. There's Martin Neal in second, and McInturf in the final transfer spot. Got William Brock and Haley Jarantowski fourth and fifth. The 52 is an all-star team that will be bouncing between. That's uh, going to be bounced around between RWR and. N M W R Michael Walter Bracing. Next week it will be um, Chilton back in that ride as we head to. I'm trying to remember where we're going, I. I did the re I did the uh I did a update on the schedule and I forgot where we're going next week. Past the halfway mark. Ooh, Martindale ran a little bit wide up there. Oh hi Andrew. As the Branch Chevy out of Junior Motorsports will lead in the 54 going by the 59 for second. Now, Martindale, who was in, is now out because here comes William Brock as he gets around Michael for the second position. That's 49 out of Casey Kane Racing. As I said, top three will transfer into the main event. Checking back here, Seth Cole not doing himself any favors. Neither is Carmen Alejandro. Jeremy Sloan, Sean Love in the 52. Trevor Good, who made the race last week at Texas. Doesn't look like he's going to make the race this week. Desiree Voiles in the 62 this week. As Rogers going to lose the lead to... William Brock, Michael's going to go to second, and Martindale's already in third. Now she holds the final transfer spot. With three to go here in this qualifier. Of course, we still have another race to go, another 13 laps coming your way. Oh, but PJ puts uh, Martindale McInturf up three wide. Now McInturf going to be on the outside looking in. William Brock still the leader, but the question is, will he keep the lead for long? The answer is going to be a no, because here comes P.J. Williams. Here comes Haley Jarantowski in the 53 with two to go. Forty-nine is out of KCK Racing. Fifty-four out of XCI Racing. Fifty-three is out of RWR, and PJ Williams and the Burger King Toyota now takes the lead. Jarantowski now in second. Brendan Rogers trying to get himself into the race. That will put Jarantowski on the bubble. And that's Frank Underhill. He's trying to make his debut in the on-point Toyota as we're on the last lap of this first qualifier. And it looks like P.J. Williams 
Looking pretty darn good. Somebody opened a deal of steaks and there's like a hole in there. I don't know why. Oh, this is going to be close. Looks like Jarantowski is going to get it. But P.J. Williams will win qualifier number one. And looks like Jarantowski will get the final transfer spot. So PJ Williams, Brendan Rogers, and Haley Jarantowski will make will make the race here at Auto Club. Let me see. PJ Williams will make his second. Brendan's making his first. And Haley Jarantowski for the second weekend in a row will make her third start and second in a row. Good job to her. Drivers who will not make the race. Frank Underhill, TJ Hanley, William Brock, Jordan Anderson, uh, Prudence Martindale. Forgot to put the R in Jordan Anderson. It's okay. Uh, Desiree Voiles, Rick Witt, Bevo Rogers, Michael McInturf, Anthony Ritchie, Reagan Whitlock, Joshua Sicoli, Trevor Good, Rhett G. Fogelman, Carmen Alejandro, Lainey Fredrickson, Sean Love, Stephen Bear, Ryan Boyer, Seth Cole, Savannah J., and Jeremy Sloan. They will not make the main event. So a Rogers driver for the second race weekend in a row makes it in. But congratulations to PJ Williams as he will be in the race. Now we're going to find out who will be the other three drivers to make, make it in the race. As Rogers, like I said, will make his first start of the season. Brendan Rogers, that is. And here is the grid for race number two as, there we go. Santi Messi is on the pole in race number two. James calls alongside the rest of your grid right there. Couple of changes to mention on the starting grid. Brady Ladon in the 91, the third track house car. Of course, Trisha Ann's in there, Doug Ellinger, Hergel Arvin Alonzo still in the uh, um, 89 this week. Find out which three drivers will join the 32, 0, 09, and 53 into the main event. And who will be the drivers that will sadly have to go home. So Brendan Rogers making his first start of the year. P.J. Williams is making his, um, P.J. Williams, I saw him a second ago. Williams will make his second, as we're green in this one. And then Jarantowski, who is one of my good friends, second weekend in a row, she makes the main event. By the way, this is to get into the Auto Club 400 for those that are asking. Santi Messi has failed to qualify ever since um, the 67 has entered. James Qualls in the 70. They also didn't have a crash in the uh, in the uh, qualify in qualifier number one. Will we keep it the same here in Qualifier 2, or will we see our first incident of the race? And we almost had a wreck there. That's Adita Bagus and James Qualls nearly rubbing each other, but they keep it together. 
Checking back here at the rear of the field, Kelsey Higdon, the second junior motorsports. Of course, her teammate Brendan Rogers made the field. There's Hannah Higdon in the 87 Nemco car. Brady Ladon running the third Trackhouse 91. Brand new scheme for her. And the other three other drivers, Chase Brooks, Sean Art, and Caleb Hobbs also have new schemes this weekend here at Auto Club. You'll see in the main event later today. Doug Ellinger trying to make it, trying to make his uh, third race of the season. I believe he's trying to go three in a row. He made it at Rio. He made it last week at Texas. If he makes this race, it will be three races in a row for the 136 out of MB2 Motorsports. Bagus is trying to make... As I look here at the non-charter, as I look here at the bottom of the standings. Bagos is trying to make her second. Eric Stanberry now in the final transfer spot. The 67 has yet to make a start this season, and he had to get out of the throttle. Looked like the car got a bit tight there for him. Caleb Hoffman, the 85, or 95, sorry. Chevy Corvettes made two starts this season. That's, by the way, the Lightning McQueen car. Hoffman is still a rookie as he nearly got into Adida Bagus. Eric Stamberry in the Cutwater Honda Accord. As we check back here, that's uh, Amanda Miller back here. Fabian Tester's back here. Brooklyn Rogers trying to make it two for two for the Rogers family. Doesn't look like that's going to happen for right now. Brenda Velasco in the 96 for Gaunt Brothers Racing. Mitchell Hodak. Currently in a four-wide situation with Ian Dutta and Hannah Higdon. Ooh, Jacob Athens got out of the throttle after contact with Ian Dutta. That was a bit close there. That kind of messed up the Carvana machine out of um, out of uh, Legacy Club or Petty GMS Racing. But we keep it together. As Samet Ozcon is now in the final transfer spot, trying to chase down Doug Ellinger and Eric Stanberry. Ellinger, as I said, is trying to make his third start. Stanberry would also would be making his fourth. And Ozcon would make his second. As Adida Bagus tries to get around James Calls, but look who's coming. Herschel Arvin Alonzo in that 89 machine. Of course, James Orman was the driver in the early part of the season, but James Orman failed to qualify so many times. They decided to put Herschel Arvin Alonzo, and he's done a good job making it into his, his only start so far. And look at Brady Ladon coming in the 91. That third car out of track house. How would it be for Brady Ladon to possibly make her debut on this channel as far as in the Foster series? Would be big for that third track house team. Of course, Jesse Art has already been to victory lane. She's 10th in the points. Her brother is 21st. So Brady Ladon's got a chance to make this race. As Oscon goes underneath uh, Stanberry, that's a battle for second.
as we're going to have two to go next time by. Oscon to the lead. Alonzo to second. That will put Doug L. Oh, looks like Brady Ladon shoved Eric Stanbury up the track. Brady Ladon was going to try to make her debut and look like that's not going to happen. That's going to allow Katie Lapham and others to have a chance. And now Qualls gets around Doug Ellinger, but Ellinger's going to get around Cement Oscon. Two to go here in this non-charter race number two. James Qualls to the lead again. Arlonzo about to fall out of the transfer spot. Trisha Ann trying to make her debut. There's Donovan Updike, our winner from Rio de Janeiro. Of course, remember Donovan Updike, he and um, he and the uh, uh, he and Rick Witt have both been the victory lane, but it will not be enough for both of them to make it into the top 30 in the point standings as we're on the last lap of the race. And Oscon goes around Alonzo. That's for the final transfer spot. Eric Stanbury. Or who's that in the back trying to catch up? Okay, that's Trisha Ann. Okay, so that would definitely cost Eric Stanbury as Qualls had to get out of the throttle. Looks like Doug Ellinger is going to win this qualifier. He will make his third straight race in a row. Battle for second. Give it to Oscon. Even though he beats James Qualls to the line, Qualls will take the final transfer spot into the Auto Club 400. Nice change of pace where we have a caution-free race. And that's big for Doug Ellinger making these races. So there's our six drivers that will make the race. Drivers who will fail to qualify, Herschel and Alonzo, Trisha Ann, Donovan Updike, Dennis Walker, Katie Lapham, Brenda Velasco, Brady Ladine, uh, JT Hanley, Angela Bagos. So both the XCI cars are going home. Hannah Higdon, Mark Underhill, Mitchell Hodak, Eric Stanbury, Alexis Miller, Brooklyn Rogers, Caleb Hoffman, Kelsey Higdon, Santi Messi, who still can't make a start. Greg Rutz can't make a start either. Uh, Fabian Tester, Jacob Athens, and Ian Dutta. Those drivers will, unfortunately, be going home. So that's going to do it for the non-charter races. If you enjoyed these non-charter races, be sure to give this video a like, subscribe to become part of the PCS Raid Crew today. We've shown you our full finish results. We'll see you guys later for the race at 3 o'clock Eastern Standard Time as our... Auto Club Weekend continues right here on the PCS Race Sports Given Channel, the best in a racing since 2017. We'll see you later at 3 for the main event.